Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create our first level with walls and uh, exterior and interior. And we already added some furniture. So in this video, we're going to continue working on this. And now we're going to first insert some furniture. And then we're going to add in some table. So here we're going to add in some nightstand and then the coffee table. So hold on control and then click both of them and then press open. We will need to go to architecture and then component. And then here we have our nightstand. I'm going to add it here and there. After that, click it here and let's look for the coffee table. So this one. So I'm going to click on the second. So I'm going to add it right here. Go back to insert actually and then let's load in more. Uh, we will need to go back to furniture and then let's add in the TV. And then of course let's make it big. So to, to make it big, um, usually they have um, variations here. So you can just click it and then it will go to, to the size that um, it's set there. So now I'm going to add it here and then press escape and then escape. Um, let's load more. So right now we could add in some tables. We already have added the coffee table, but now we could add in some dining. So I'm going to use this dining table and then I'm going to click open. And then now let's go to architecture and click component. And I'm going to add it like so. The problem with this is it probably doesn't have enough room. So maybe we could add it here or here. So it really depends on the design that we, we're going to create. But for now, maybe I'm going to make this one smaller like this. And then let's look at it later on if we have enough. So let's, I'm going to add it like this. And then let's load in more furniture. So another seating. So insert, load family, go back to furniture and then seating. And let's add this chair. Architecture again, component. And let's add it like this and like that. So we added our table. Um, let's select everything and I'm going to push it all the way to the wall. So that will be good. And then here we're going to add in some more. So next thing I want to add some um, curtain wall. So I want to click the wall. And then go down and add curtain wall. I want to add curtain wall right here. Also here. And then here as well. And then after that, go to modify and then click cut geometry. What you have to select first is you have to select the wall and then the curtain wall. 
and then wall again, curtain wall, and then wall, and then curtain wall. Press escape and then escape again. I'm just going to pull this back a little bit like so. And then here, as you can see, we just need to pull this up and down like so. For now, I'm just um, assessing it like this. This one is the powder room. So I'm going to add it all the way up to the top only of course you don't need to show everything there so just like that so that um, um, some natural light will come in to the powder room here we have it all the way down so i'm just going to leave it all the way down and then here I'm just folding up a little bit so that we have some support there. So now it's getting really good. So we can continue working on by adding more, more furniture. I'm going to go to architecture and then or going to insert rather sorry, architecture component, because we already added the chair. So we're going to add more. So I'm going to add in the sofa again right here. Just a little nook. And then the chair again. something like that and we could even uh, change the orientation for this um, I want to add before we do the kitchen later or probably on the next video I want to add the stairs first so here um, let's go to architecture and click on stairs of course, I want it from level 1 to level 2. Um, I want to limit the desired number. So I'll probably just put 12 and click apply. So actual riser height of stair is greater than the maximum riser height specified in stairs. So we just need to make this one greater. So 14 will be good. So here um, Revit will analyze it and provide you the enough um, um, equal height and tread for this. So now I'm going to add it like so, all the way like that. We can move it like this. And of course we'll have, we could change this to Depending on you, I'm going to make it 1300. And then I'm going to use my arrow key to change the location. So I'm just going to give it like that. And then click finish. And if we want to see the look, go to camera. And I'm going to add in a camera view like so. So I think that's good enough. We have a room for the landing there. So it looks good. Of course, we could change the look of the stairs by clicking on the stairs, edit type. Uh, we could make this one. The stringer on the left. I don't want that, none. Stringer on the right will be good. But we could make it bigger. Um, let's not add. So run type. Uh, 
either want this. So I don't want to show the riser. So I uncheck that, apply. So now we have something like this. I could just delete this. We don't need that. And it will be like a wall um, hand. And we don't need, we could probably just convert this to, we're gonna convert this to um, glass. So here we could, go and choose this and go to the triple dot here and what we could do i believe we need to change this so let's let me double check so yes this will be the one that we need to change so obviously around 800 will be good so edit this type So this one is around yeah, 850 will be good. And then let's change the materials to glass. I'm gonna change the glass to this color. I just want to change this. Apply and then okay. And then you can see the changes. So this now is a glass. Uh, we could change this to wood. It will be good if it's a wood. So now just click on the run uh, with the three dot and then let's change this to wood. Let's choose birch. So we already chose that. Click apply and then OK. So we have wood and then glass here. So it will look like that. And then you just need to add in some um, more stuff here. You could change the thickness by the way of the stringer. So by going here and then I believe the thickness will, is right here. So 50, we could change this to 20. And as you can see, it looks nicer. That one is too thick, so I was like, yeah, we could change that. And then now, what you could do is you could add in some um, profile or detailed here, like the, the connector for this. And then let's go to level one and make sure that this is connected to the wall. So one, we want to make sure that, so I'm going to use align and then there. And then now if we check it, it's connected through the wall like that. So it looks better. We could also add in um what do you call this um middle support so just click on mid edit type and then here middle support you just need to check that and then you could change different um um or the dimension of tools and even the materials i'm gonna choose uh, metal here So I'm going to use iron for now. So that will be good. Press OK and then OK. Apply OK. And then as you can see, we have a middle support right now. And you can change the thickness of those by clicking on this. And then the depth run, the landing, you can change the width so here we could change this to 100 and you will see that this will change the thickness so that's good it's because if you create the interior of this it will be nice to have black 
wood and then glass and then to do the profile as well it will look nice it, it will look modern like that so now that the stairs is done we can press escape so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and i hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below